black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Another day at BK. I was craving a crispy chicken sandwich, something fierce. And of course, it's always nice to have a fresh and steamy hot, hot poutine that we must, of course, deface. We're starting today's video on the real thing cam. <laughs> this whole new real thing cam. But yeah, we're down for the real thing. We're going to hit the poutine up. And I'm very excited for just this chicken sando because I haven't had a crispy chicken from BK in a long, long time. But they are very, very nice. So let's get into it. Let's do a quick little crispy chicken sandwich reveal. But that's what I'm saying, right? Like, look, that's a quality looking, nice tomato-y, lettuce-y, mayo -y, nice bund chicken sando, I would say. So let's eat. All right, a bit of an anomaly of a day. Not the poutine, of course. We know about that. That's not anomalous at all when it comes to going to Burger King. But uh, catching me in a colored shirt. He's wearing something with a color on it. So purple uh, people eaters here today <laughs> ready to have a dirty BK poutine with you but really like I said it was the chicken sandwich crave that got me here um, they actually have a new chicken sandwich called the pesto chicken club uh, with cheese and bacon on it and stuff but I'll tell you what I don't really like pesto is not my jam really that much so it's got a pesto mayo on it and I opted to just go with the classic and the classic is looking very very nice and this poutine is uh, certainly doing what it's supposed to and we got to get her nice fresh and hot of course right she's perfect so let me tell you all there's a, uh, it's a beautiful night here. It's about seven o'clock. The summer is dwindling to an end. And there's this woman in town from high school. There's this woman in town from high school and, uh, I caught her story, wind of her story, and I saw that she was like here. And she was, uh, we, would, we would just been chatting. We've just been chatting and uh, there's like a possible meetup. And in the chatting energy, it seems like perhaps something could go down could go down you know what I mean but every part of me wants to go be that guy but there's another part of me that's just like don't do it don't even bother it's obviously gonna involve drinking and, you know, a night of wasted money, drinking, and probably ultimately just not even be worth the experience in a sense. But she was like, uh, she's one year older than me, but she was like an it girl in high school, popular. And one of like the the hotties of high school. So there's that high school reunion part of me that's like, go do it, go meet up with uh, you know one of the hotties from high school. But every part of me is also just like, nah, man, <laughs> not even worth it. Save your money, save your brain cells. Just do more productive shit with your time, you know? However, my debaucherous shadow self. Is saying YOLO. Go full tilt. So I have. 
angel devil battles in the mind right now. But for once in my life, I think I'll let the, uh, the angel win and just sit this one out. And be proud of myself for once, for not making the debaucherous decision. <clears throat> now, let's get into what I really came for, is this beautiful crispy chicken sandwich. And uh, just to end that, to say, isn't it weird though and shitty that most of life's best stories come from nights like the night I could have tonight if I choose that direction, the naughty direction, maybe the dark side, if you will. Come on, look at that. BK doing it right with their chicken sandwich. Crispy chicken. Let's get it. I will forever say that BK nailed it with this chicken, crispy chicken sandwich. Very good. On some wholesome content style topic, I recently found this uh, older lady who started doing ASMR. Just by happenstance. But she reminds me of the perfect fusion of both my grandmothers. Speed racer. She's got the wholesome sweet essence of my one grandmother. And then she's got like the style and class and grace of my other grandmother and uh, she does just like generally like soft spoken ASMR videos I found her maybe a week and a half ago she had about 6,000 subscribers and now she's got 36,000 and climbing. So her channel's on fire. It's J-E-A-N-N-I-E, -N -N -E, Jeannie B, as in Bravo. We're using military terms here. Jeannie B is tomorrow. And I will say I'm addicted to her channel currently. Comforting grandma vibes. And she's blowing up. She's on a big upswing right now. So if you're still into ASMR, if any of you are, highly recommend. She's killing it as hard as the chicken sandwiches, even though it's kind of crumbling apart. And I'm left with all bun, which is weird. Still good. <laughs> I don't know how I ended up with so much bun though. But yeah. I'm on the fence. Do I be well behaved or do I say screw it, end of summer blowout, high school hottie hangout, and just grab another story for the books, right? Just to add to the chapters of my life. Because <laughs> that's where the best stories come from is just going out and doing those kind of things. So I don't know. We'll see what transpires, but. 
I'm in a real battle mentally right now about what to do. I will not lie. That'll do it for that one. Until the next one. Till the next one, stay battling that angel, devil, demon battle inside you and try to not let the demons win and you can live well, stay true.